Okay, this month in Smart Notebook, we were looking at just a couple of real simple tools. First, the uh, Magic Pen, which is right up here. Now, if the Magic Pen is not up in your toolbar, just right-click up there in a blank. Find whatever you need right here, drag it up, and say done. That's how you add tools. But what does the Magic Pen do for you? Well, it does three things. Uh, click on it. If I draw a rectangle around this URL address of this website that has all these videos, it becomes a magnifier. You can make it larger, smaller, and you can move it around. But it's a nice, quick, and easy magnifier. Kids sit in the back so they can see the URL and type it in if you don't have it linked on your website or somewhere else. And we'll just close out of that. Second thing it does, if you draw a circle, it's not a very good circle, but it should work, an oval. You can make this larger, too. And it just becomes a quick spotlight. And you can move that around so if you have several things on your page, you can adjust it so the kids are focused in on what you want them to focus on. And the last thing it does, it's a disappearing ink. So if you write something, 8675, and some of you even know the last three digits without me putting on here, uh, 309 from the song. Um, but it's disappearing ink. I used to use this for chunking and mnemonic devices for memory tricks. So, um, you know, you might find a use for it. You might not. So that's just what the magic pen does. And then here's the other thing I'm going to show you is something called a spinner. So I'm going to search in the gallery for spinners. And there it goes. It's an interactive one. You scroll down. Here it is at the bottom. I could click on it or just drag it over. So on the spinner, let me show you what you can do with that. Click on the double arrows to edit it. Put as many segments as you want. Um, so maybe this is, maybe you're going to spin and they're going to get into groups and talk about the character. And the red one is maybe going to be the setting of the book. Or whatever topic or subject you teach, you can change the colors and the font and all of that. We'll just say save. You get the idea and you click on it and it spins and maybe whatever one it lands on the kids turn to their partner and they talk about that topic or you move them into groups uh, different options this will of course make it larger or smaller and the double arrows always does the editing for you so just a couple quick tools the magic pen might find a good use for that and the spinner in the gallery it's a great tool to use for lots of areas thanks for watching